You can now on Cauliflower Corner. All right, we're back for Cauliflower Corner, episode three. Hi. A lot of stuff going on in Canadian MMA today. There sure is, Jason. Uh, so, what do you think about the uh, UFC 119? Uh, the UFC 119 with Frank Mir versus Antonio. Ro I can't read anything. Big Nog. Yeah, Big Nog. Uh, that's interesting, you know. There's uh, a couple of guys who are trying to fight their way back into the pitcher. Yeah. And, you know, somebody's going to become relevant and somebody's going to become less relevant after that fight. Uh, Little Nog's also fighting Ryan Bader on that card. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Ryan Bader's kind of like new blood. Uh, Little Nog and a lot of UFC fans aren't that uh, familiar with him, but he's been in a ton of wars and. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's an old warrior, and uh, that should be an amazing fight. New blood versus old blood. Yeah, definitely. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, there are a couple of announcements made on that card. Is a couple of Canadians, Joe Dirksen, yep. he's fighting C.B. Dalloway. Oh yeah, Joe Dirksen's last fight was just unbelievable. That was, uh, you know, that was really inspirational, really impressive. Uh, the gutsy performance um, he had against Tommy Lawler. He was rocked. He was hurt in the first round, and then, uh, you know, you could just. Just tell the guts and courage and experience really, really pulled uh, Joe Dirksen out of that fight. And he, oh, yeah. That was just an amazing win. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It is the sickest fight. Just UFC ridiculous. 13, Montreal. It was yeah. awesome. We were yeah. there. It was, uh, it was good times. And uh, so, what do you think of CB Dalloway? Uh, he's got that face that. You just want to punch? Yeah, yeah okay. he's a dick. I'm sorry, CB, but. He knows. I'm sure he knows. Anyway. So, and then TJ Grant, he's fighting uh, Julio Paulino, 17-3, yeah. he's from Alaska. I don't, I don't know too many people from Alaska, I don't know too much about that scene, but 17-3 uh, has got to be good, he's knocked out Terry Martin. What do you got to say about Julio Paulino? He's like a village idiot. <laughs> uh, TJ Grant, uh, he's a good friend of mine, um, I trained with him for years in uh, Nova Scotia, I lived in Nova Scotia for five years. and. Uh, I uh, saw so TJ like, you know, in his beginning kind of in grappling tournaments and stuff, and now like, what an amazing transformation. So like, as a as a friend of his, it's you know really inspiring and really awesome. Uh, the other guy, he's got Alaska on his side. I don't know what that means. I know Paul Varlins. He's from Alaska. So who remembers Paul Varlins? I don't remember hmm. Paul Varlins. That'd be neat if we could do that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we have any of that footage. <laughs> if we had some of that footage. Do we have those special effects? Can we? No. No. Imagine. No. Uh, anyway. Anyways, so uh, a couple other events. What else we got here? Lesnar Velasquez, UC 121. First of all, let's let's take a look at just what I have to work with here. Here's the, that's our teleprompter. <laughs> We're working on the high budget. <laughs> right. Sorry, what are we going on about here? UC 121, Velasquez versus Lesnar. Uh, that should be a good fight. Let's talk about Canadian stuff. I was about to bring up the right. Sam Stout's fight in uh, Paul Taylor. Yeah, yeah, there. Sam Stout uh, from London, Ontario is going to be an awesome fight. And Paul Taylor is like, he is a really gritty, tough fighter. That should be an amazing fight. You know, they both two guys just like to stand in the pocket. I'll give you uh, a chance to speak and uh, just stand right there in the pocket and just throw uh, bombs. It's awesome and. Uh, you know, there's going to be huge fireworks. Probably be another fight of the night. Of Sam just pack, pockets those, like, yeah. I've, like you pocket candy wrappers or whatever you do. Candy wrappers? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so candy wrappers aside, yeah. uh, MFC is coming back to Manitoba <laughs> yeah, in September, yeah. and it's uh, Ryan Ford's going to be on the card. Yeah. Ryan Ford's coming back to the MFC. That's a, some Yeah, Ryan games. Ford's pretty badass. He's pretty tough. Yeah. In, he belongs in the MSC. That's what I mean. Honestly, I was wondering why he, why he left huh. in the first place. Yeah, it's a good fit for him. He's got the, uh, yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got you the know ring. what he's saying. You know what he's saying. Come on, go ahead and say it. Just say it. Tell the world. Ryan really Ford's awesome. That's what I'm yeah, trying to say. Fine, whatever. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, uh, Mark Hominick fighting Alex Garcia, WEC 51. Alex Garcia? Oh, Leonard Garcia. Leonard Garcia, I'm sorry. Uh, Leonard Garcia, Mark Hominick. That is going to be unbelievable. Uh, anybody who didn't see Hominick's last fight um, against uh, Yves Chablan, do yourself a favor, go check it out. It was an unbelievable fight. And then Garcia, I can't think of a, a fight he hasn't just like him brought the, it. Like Him and the Korean Zombie was unreal. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the two best fights I've seen in WEC so far have involved Mark Hominick and Lenny Garcia. Yeah. 
Maybe Aldo Faber, that's pretty good yeah. too. But I mean, honestly, for just straight yeah. up best fights, I think those yeah. are the two best. How can sick, this? Uh, sick fireworks. All right, let's get this done. And uh, we've got a special treat for you today. Okay. we got uh, Roland Cunningham is going to the live. Right here. He's going to punch Ben Ortmans in the oh. face with some MMA gloves. I decided I'd, uh, I'd take the heat off myself because I actually have to. MMA gloves? Who makes those MMA gloves, Jason? Canadian Pro Fightwear makes those MMA gloves. We're gonna see how, you, how your hand feels. We're gonna see if your hand holds up and uh, okay. how Ben's face. Yeah, right.